What's going on lads? Welcome down to another video. The fifth episode. I keep losing track. But today, it's quite a nice day. Very, very cold, but clear, no wind. So I'm coming down to the range, got a full set of clubs, and I'm hoping to work home through all my wedges, all my irons, all my woods, and then practicing on my swing, going back through the camera, looking at it, adjusting where I need, and not taking too much time on the range today. When I get out onto the course, it does look very busy, but hopefully it's died down a bit by the time I wanna get on there, and I'm gonna get nine holes in, one ball, play properly, see how I score, see where I'm at, because I feel like I'm getting somewhere. Obviously my swing is not, you even see me, not where I want it to be 100%, but I can't get stuck in uh, trying to get the perfect swing, like there's no such thing as a perfect swing. And I'm going a lot off of how I'm connecting with the ball as well at the minute. And I need to get back onto the course so I can start scoring well as well. So trying not to neglect any part of my game, trying to fit it all in. So let's get warmed up and then let's get onto the course and see how I score. warmed up, took about half an hour, worked through all of my clubs, pretty happy with my swing. If I was going to rate it, I'd probably give it a 7 out of 10, so not too bad. My bad shot at the minute is a pull draw, which looks like a massive hook um, when I'm just coming over the top. So hopefully, don't have any of them shots on the course because that is literally free off the tee, out of bounds, see you later, night night. Um, the hole in front of me right now is a par five. I think that is the fifth. So I'm gonna start on the fifth, play nine holes or as many holes as I get round to. Proper scoring, one ball, no gimmies or anything like that. I'm gonna play properly, see what I score, see where my game's at. Let's get it. So like I say, starting off on this par five, it's, the longest hole on the course, about 570, 80 yards or something like that. Went with a three iron off the tee, which I've absolutely blitzed. Um, the reason I go, because th this hole is very, very tight. You got out of bounds right, which is the range. Dykes left, not much room to play with. But I'll be laying up whether I hit a driver, free wood. So why not just get it in play with a free iron? And that's what I've done. Aimed it at this uh, bunker on the right, drew it into the middle of the fairway. Great shot. Okay, so laid up with a six iron. Wasn't the best swing, wasn't the best contact, but it's in the middle of the fairway again, laying up. So I'm just glad that it's in play. It was a nervous swing, because there's nothing worse than laying up and leaving you sending in the bloody woods or something like that. But I've got a shot and I'll be going at the green. So that's all I can wish for really. I'm playing this hole safe. Let's keep playing safe. Okay, so I had about 165 yards. Wind coming right to left. I had a massive bit of mud on my ball. It was putting me off. Excuses, excuses. Terrible swing, nervous swing. Because I'm actually trying because I really want to put in a score. Like I'm doing it on camera as well for proof, so. Fell about 20, 30 yards short. Fatted the hell out of it, but it's an easy chip. Hopefully get up and down and that's my par, but if we can come away with a bogey, it's, it's not too, too too bad for my handicap, but with uh, two great shots so far, I really should have been looking at on the green and two put for a par, but chip and a putt, let's just rely on the short game. Okay, 
right, so that is golf basically, in a nutshell. Played it safe, probably too safe, but it was my first um, hole on camera for uh, absolutely ages. I was nervous. I hit a great shot off the tee, hit a, all right, second shot. Third shot was dreadful, fourth shot was absolutely terrible. That's just neglecting short game. And then once I got it onto the dance floor, just two put it, Mitchell, and three put it. So, yeah, not the greatest start. Straight in there with a double bogey, but there's plenty more holes to go. We do not give up there. We can grab back loads of shots. Fun fact, I hardly ever play that hole very well, so let's keep on going. So rather than bore you with every single shot, I'm gonna turn this last bit into a bit of an edit and uh, I'll see you when I finished and we'll talk about how I played and what I scored. <laughs> frozen, the fairways are frozen, the sun has gone down qu way quicker than I thought, so I'm ending it there, not the greatest. So overall not that great to be fair, but the course was against me, the, everything was frozen which I didn't realise it was that bad because the first hole I played was in direct sunlight so it was actually alright, um, <coughs> but as I started playing it was just becoming impossible, even when I was playing good shots it was turning bad. But Overall, on the swing basis, not good enough. I'm finding it hard to like transition from the range to the course, which is the hardest thing, but that's what I'm working on. Keep working on the range and then slowly doing like three holes and four holes and then just slowly getting out onto the course, playing golf, get actually playing the game. That is my plan. Put it this way, I've got pretty much the whole of December, January, February, March, April, May, June, maybe July, so I've got literally seven or eight months to get this in, so when I'm playing bad now, I wanna look back at this video and be like, you know what, how bad was I playing back then? How bad, I was playing three iron off the tee, playing safe, and then ended up with double bogeys. I wanna look back at this and be like, wow, I'm hitting three or one off the tee, going for it with a second shot, trying to make um, birdie, and then a bad hole is a par, like, you know what I mean? I've got time, I'm not panicking, we're in the middle of winter, no, no competitions at the golf course anymore, so this is the time to grind, this is the first time in my life that I've actually been on the grind, fully concentrating on golf, apart from when I was like a junior, so exciting, gonna keep grinding, I'm gonna keep, I know these, these videos are pretty boring, but I'm gonna keep doing them because it's about tracking the progress, who knows, I might get down to scratch and then people will be like, how did he do that? And then this is what they will look at, back on and be like, oh, this is how he did it. Grinding in the winter, which I am absolutely thrilled with. So anyway, if you are watching this, if you got this far, comment down below, penguin, because I really would love to know if anyone actually watches these. The views are rubbish. People only like the videos with me and Boo, so. But the golf videos will get better because I will be doing challenges. But I need a golf swing to do them with. So this is the predicament. But stay tuned. If you are into golf, keep watching. If you're not, don't watch. Simple as that. But 
I'd like to keep things like mixture, like me and Boo do videos, I do golf videos. I just do what I want and this is my channel, okay? So if you don't like it, hop it. But thank you so much for watching. Like I say, comment down below, Penguin. Follow all my uh, Instagrams, Facebooks, Ostrich Golf down below and I will see you on the next episode because we out here, we grinding, the winter grind, hence the name. Not the best episode, but it's progress.